freak when I'm talking to myself But it's like I was too weak to be someone else Good thing that I'm a creep when I'm singing all alone But it's like I couldn't see straight on Yo guys and girls, it's your boy Hunty again with another video. This time we are on the new patch, we are on the Elsewhere patch and we are, yes, on the Magicka Necro. Okay, it's been out three days now. I managed to get the Sigicorder up on it and get it to max CP. It's been a massive grind, okay, uh, but thanks to a little help from the friends, we managed to get there nice and quickly and not that painless actually, uh, not that painful, sorry. Um, so yeah, let's go straight into it. This this build is a beginner's build, so obviously I've had a little bit of experience on this class. This is the best setup I've used up to date. Okay, obviously it's only been out for three <laughs> three days, okay? But if you are creating a Magicka Necro and you don't have no idea what sort of route you should go, okay, this is definitely a good starting point. Um, and to be honest with you, this has been re working really, really well for me. Awesome damage. Awesome survivability, awesome heals, and awesome sustain. To be honest with you, I can't see me changing this any more than what it is right now because I think I've found a really, really good setup for it. There you go. Times will change. Things might get nerfed or what on, so on and so forth. Or there might be a little secret gem that I don't know of. But at the moment, this is working really well for me. So, yeah, I'm going to release it and see, see what you guys think. So, as for the gear, the gear is just generic for a magic build with a shield okay it's not the gear which the skills were pretty much uh going for here but we will go through the gear okay so i'm using the master lightning staff uh with a shock enchantment learn honed um and this reduces the cost of my destructive read by 30 percent and increases my direct damage um and my direct damage sorry is increased by uh, 2000 um which is a lot on the bat bar, we are running the eye staff, and yes, we are running armor master on the bat bar. Okay, this is going to give us our tank ability. Um, and to me, for me, if you want to be competitive in open world and, and, and enjoy it, and not die all the time, okay, armor master is probably other than fortified brass. Armor master is probably best in slot for shield build, to be honest. Um, and that's personal preference. I've gone for an eye staff because it allows me to do more DPS and prop my weapon and weapon and spell uh, buff from range okay i still got all the blocker mitigation all that sort of good stuff that's why i didn't go for sword and board okay um because i just find i staff a lot better for magical classes allows you to keep that dps up with the light attacks while going for your uh, abilities you can put a poison here okay but like i say i have the weapon da uh, spell damage buff uh, enchantment and then i have the shock enchantment on the front bar to maximize dps as for the monster sets, okay, you can use a two-piece monster set for go tankier or more damage, okay, but this is how I'm finding it works good for me because it's tanky enough and it's got good enough damage. So I just went for the stats. So I've gone one-piece Dommer House in pen, um, and then I've gone one-piece Shadow End for the regen. Okay, it's a personal preference. Again, you could go max magic here if you find your regen's okay. But this is, this is literally really well balanced as it is, um, and this is how I enjoy it. As you saw, we're running five-piece Necropotence because we do have a pet on this build, okay? And we have 100% uptime on that pet. So this has got 100% up uh, prop time, okay? So uh, for me, Necro is Necropotence is um, best in slot for max magic and sustain. Also damage. So 
on the jewelry we've got one recovery arcane and then on the uh, rings we are infused spell damage just to bump that spell damage up as we do not have a set here that is covering any sort of spell damage okay so we went infused on the spell damage we have good max magic pool because we're wearing necropotence so yeah it balances out really really nice and when you see the stats you know the very uh, reasonable stats and really uh, really good so let's go straight into the skills skills then we are running the light armor shield harness magicka this is going to help us with sustain and be our main um damage mitigation okay this is going to absorb a lot of damage spirit guardian for those that don't uh, know what this does uh, you conjure us um, a ghostly spirit to do uh, your bidding and stay on your side for 16 seconds the spirit heals you uh, or the lowest health ally around you every two seconds restoring 1661 health yes it is a low heal but it's just um, a bonus because we have actually got this slotted for while well, actually we have 10% of the damage you take is transferred to the spirit instead okay so we get a bit of damage damage and mitigation from just having the spirit up as well as getting a little a little heal um, and also when it dies it creates a corpse and that will become more relevant with the ability I'll show you in a minute okay so resistant flesh this is going to be our burst heal okay as you can see there fully unbuffed it gives us 8400 um burst heal yes it does give you mana defile with a shield build this mana defile does not affect us you, do, you don't notice it at all it really doesn't make a difference um and grants uh grants you spell and physical resistance equal to half the amount healed for three seconds okay so then this also gives us boosted resistances when we um, heal with it race against time for me this is a must okay because you will have no mobility yes you can use the cleanse that's in the class uh, which is i think i've removed it actually i don't no longer have it it's in the class which costs health but it doesn't give you the expedition okay and personally i just think the expedition is key so as you can see there uh race against time it gives you major expedition for four seconds and then minor force for 12 seconds increasing your movement speed by 30 percent and critical damage by 10 percent okay and then activating this ability removes all snares and immobilizations from you and grants you immunity to them for 1.7 seconds okay this ability is very very strong and for me personally a must have on 90 percent of builds okay um and yeah it's, it's mega Summoner's armor, okay, this is basically uh, the DK's volatile armor equivalent, okay, it doesn't fire spikes, that will give you a shield as such, but it, it's your resistance buff, okay, it gives you um, spell and physical resistance, 5,280 um, physical and spell resistance. Also, while active, reduced the cost of your blast bone, skeletal mage, and spirit mender by 12%, okay, so it's a nice um, reduction in abilities. This tallies nice with the fact that we are a Breton, okay, which is spot on it it stacks really nice back bar ulti we go for the temporal guard okay we you reason we use this is just for the second part which is while slot you you gain minor protection reducing your damage taken by eight percent again for me um i aren't using the bone colossus because the bone colossus is very very strong but also is very expensive okay um and it for me personally i prefer to just have uh, the be a lot stronger on the back bar so i can survive and use my front bar ulti to kill people okay i don't want to just use my ulti to survive and then i don't have enough damage to kill the person all i'm doing is delaying my death okay so i'll go for the tankiness on the back bar and then i can use my front bar ulti to do some damage and counter so front bar then we are going the stalking blast bones okay this summons a flaming skeleton from the ground after 2.5 seconds. The skeleton runs after the target exploding when it gets close to the target dealing 12,747 flame damage uh, to all enemies nearby, which is it's very, very strong. Do not ignore this ability. Okay, this is very, very strong. Every second the skeleton um, spends chasing the target increases the damage of the explosion by 10% 
up to the maximum of 50% more damage. Okay, so you're looking at another, if your target keeps running away, okay, 50% extra more damage onto the 12k, 12.7k, you're looking at a very hard hitting uh, ability, timed with a flame reach or a shock reach, okay, trust me, this hits like a truck and it is really nice and really, really cool to see as well. Front bar, we're running alley drain, okay, this is to reduce their spell resistance, okay, so we hit harder and also gives us that magic steal. We don't necessarily need it for the sustain, okay, it is a bonus, but I use it for the reduced of the resistances to give us that extra damage, um, and yeah, and allow us to, you know, neutralize the target um, a lot quicker. Shock reach, okay, this is going to be a CC. We do have a built-in CC, which is the totem. Okay, but I'm not a big fan of it as you cast it and it's delayed um, and it isn't that great. So I've gone for the uh, shock reach uh, with the light attack weave. And uh, I have the masters, so it does more damage and it's cheaper than using the skulls, which is this, the ricochet skulls. Okay, if you do not have the masters, use a willpower front bar and I recommend using the skulls as um as your weave instead of shock reach because shock reach is uh, a little bit more expensive than the scores when you don't have a masters but then again have a play about with it if you've got the masters shock reach is definitely best in slot if not use the ricochet skull okay mystic siphoning uh, is really really good um this is uh, an ability that steals uh well basically Spark life from a corpse, okay? So this is why the corpse from the Guardian Spirit and the Blast Bones, when that blows up, also creates a corpse. Um, it will create a spark from the corpse, dealing 19,368 shock damage over 12 seconds. So it's a dot, okay? It's like, a, like an AOE dot you'll see on the floor. Um, and I'll show you that in a second as well. Um, you also restore 2,800 Magicka over 12 seconds. And while slotted, your damage is increased by 3%. Okay, so we're not necessarily um, using this for the AOE dot because a lot of people can just step out of it nice and easy. Okay, but the magic sustain and also mainly for the extra 3% damage done while slotted. Okay, so that's why it's there. Um, so there's a lot of perks to this ability as we are, begin we are going to be creating corpses. Now, if you don't want to use this, you can use structured entropy and not use spell power pots or all that sort of good stuff. But I find this the better option. In a light, okay, this is going to be our ability to pull magic uh, night blades out of stealth. Also, while slotted, your max magic is increased by 4%, um, and you also gain major prophecy, increasing, increasing your spell critical rating, okay, which is just, it just gives us more damage, more max magic, more spell crit, um, and just gives us a lot more damage being on the front bar. Okay, this is going to be our front bar ulti, which is the um, Colossus. Okay, this comes out the ground, a lot of people would have seen this, and smashes onto the ground. Hits like a truck, um, and is a very, very good ability. It can be tricky to land if you've got a very mobile um, enemy, but if you time it with a shock reach, okay, it, it is really, really effective. Um, and each smash applies major vulnerability to the enemy hit for three seconds, increasing their damage taken by 30%. Also does a, um, a stun at the end as well. So it's really, really good um, ultimate. So that is the skills. We'll go into the consumables and then we'll do a slight rotation on the dummy just to give you guys um, a little bit of an um, idea on how it works. Okay, so Clockwork City uh, Citrus is what we're going to use for food, okay? Increase your magic, uh, max health, uh, health recovery, and then max magic and magic recovery, okay? For me, personally, this is best in slot. You can use Witch Mothers, but I find this food a hell of a lot better. Um, as witch mothers and stuff all got nerfed and I just think um, this one's definitely best in the slot as for potions okay go for tripods um, it gives us as health magical and stamina okay just best in the slot personally for me we are running a slightly low stamp pool so having the tripods just helps us uh, sustain that stamp pool a little bit easier you can use spell uh, spell power pots um, if you own 1v1s and stuff to get that maximum potential of damage um, okay, but yeah, personal preference, uh, situation, uh, situation all dependent. Okay, let's go into the champion points again. Still playing about with the champion points, but uh, this is how I've got it at the moment. I say it every time, champion points is personal preference. Okay, 
change these um, as and where you feel you need to change them. Okay, it's all personal preference. If you don't like my champion points, win your own champion points. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, and that is it. I think I've shown you everything. I am a Breton. Uh, and I am running the mage. I'm running the mage for the max magic. And I am a Breton. Okay, reason I'm a Breton, if you haven't seen Breton passives, as I'll show you now, is it increases our max magic by 2k. Increase your spell resistance um, by 2,300. Um, and also increase your magic recovery by 100. And reduces the magical cost of your abilities by 7%. Okay, this is the main reason we're using it. Okay, that reduced cost by 7% to all your magic abilities is huge. Okay, just helps sustain massively. Um, and for me, um, it's best in slot. If you want more damage because you find your sustain is good, go high elf or potentially dark elf because it will help with the stamina also. Um, and I think what we're looking at, uh, let's take my food. Let's look at the uh, stats as we are now. So stats, as you see, we've got 41k max magic, we've got 2.2k regen, and we've got 2.5 of outer light attack. Um, with a light attack, see if we can catch this with the pot. Okay, we've got 2.9 spell damage buffed. Okay, resistances, we're looking at fully buffed resistances. We're looking at 30k spell, uh, spell resistance, and then we're looking at 27.9 physical resistance, which is basically 28. You can boost, boost this up through... Um, the CP tree if you want, but hey, I'm still playing about with this, and to be honest with you, I'm finding it perfectly fine. Crit resistance, 2.8. Okay, again, you can play about with the stats. Um, so, let's just basically go through the basic buff. So we got as Harness, we got as Wraith. You want to keep 100% uptime because this is going to be our Necro buff. Also gives us the reduced damage. This is what our burst heal looks like. The, defi the green means you are defiled, okay? You don't really want to spam this, you just want to go shield and then do your burst heal, get buffed up, get back on the front bar. Accelerate is going to be our um, snare removal and our speed buff. And then obviously we've got our resistance buff, which is the um, armor there. Front bar, this is the um, blast bones. Okay, as you can see there, it comes up from the ground. Let's step a little bit away, so you guys can see it. Comes up from the ground, looks at the target, okay, and runs at the target and hits the target for a good amount of damage. Okay, this can be a little bit buggy in PvP at the moment. It, it seems to be spawning, um, and then it'll run forward and it'll bug out and it won't chase the enemy and it'll just sort of spaz out and not not like do anything until it gets killed, basically. Um, but just be patient with it. It'll be something that will get patched. Uh, when it does hit, it's really hard. Okay, so let me explain um, the siphon ability. So when you chuck your blast bones, it creates a corpse. Immediately after, you can activate this ability, which then, as you can see there, it arcs off the, black bones, uh, the blast bones. Okay, this is giving us magic sustain, um, as well as doing this nice, as you can see there, it's doing a dot on the floor, okay, and doing extra damage. Um, and it's really, really nice, as well as just for having it slow, we're getting the 3% extra damage. So rotation then, we're looking at a Blast Bones, um, f um, Shock Reach, Shock Reach, sort of grinding the individuals down until we've got his ultimate. When we have his ultimate, what we're trying to do is we're trying to summon a Blast Bones, weave, weave, trying to get a CC off, and then summoning his ulti and we're just going in with a big burst. Okay, and that is basically the, the main source of the burst. So we're going to keep weaving him down, keep his Blast Bones up, light attack, shock reach constantly over and over again we're going to keep us up time on the dots okay and we're literally just going to keep weaving them down weaving them down until we have his ultimate once we have his ultimate we want to make sure they're not cc immune as soon as you're about cast your ultimate then cast your cc and then the ultimate and the blast bones will hit them while they're on the back okay and it will hit like a truck i've got i'll put some clips in this video and you will see it's literally insta kills people in it it's really really strong Okay, um, I appreciate it's it's really early, um, and not 
the greatest knowledge about the class at the moment. I've been playing about with it. This is what's working for me. I have read through every skill, every passive. I've done as much digging to the ne uh, the necromancer as I can. This is the the setup I deem fit, and I can't really see another way of it being that much better other than maybe one or two skills, uh, maybe looking into them. But to be honest with you, I find this the best setup so far. Um, and yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope this helps helps you guys out. Again, massive uh, thank you for the support that I've been getting on the channel. On 1,300 um, subs, which is insane. Okay, you guys are literally, honestly, you're all legends. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the build video. Please comment below, leave me good feedback. You know, if you know there's something better that I should swap out, put it down below. Honestly, I'm open all ears. Um, and obviously, yeah, I'll try it out and see, see what it's about. Okay, peace out, guys. Cheers.